Hi guys, it's Steph. Today I thought I'd make this video because I get a lot of questions when I post pictures on Twitter and Tumblr and stuff with people basically asking me what my tattoos are. So the first tattoo I ever got was this one here, which is Chinese. And it says Natalie, which is my little sister's name. I'd wanted a tattoo for ages and I'd had that idea in my head for a really long time. She actually turned 18 last year and then got my name on her wrist in Thai. So now we kind of match, which is cute. My second tattoo that I got is this one here. And in that moment, I swear we were infinite, which is from The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's possibly just my favorite quote from anything ever, or definitely one of my favorites, hence the tattoo. That book and that film means a lot to me. So having this tattoo is something that really makes me happy. Uh, the third tattoo I got was <laughs> the one I probably get questions about the most, which is my lovely rainbow one that goes all the way around my arm. I love it, it's a really good conversation piece. Like the moment I like whip off a jacket and someone will go, oh my God, is that a tattoo? And then it just makes for amazing conversation. It's pretty, so that's like a nice thing. It just looks really good. But also like, obviously again, there's meaning behind this one because I'm part of the LGBT community. Just, I wanted just like something really gay. <laughs> Come and say hi. He won't give me a kiss, he's being a little shit. Oh, there we go, thank you. My fourth tattoo that I got was this one here. It's a favorite quote of mine from one of my favorite TV shows, The 100. And they have a language on the show called Trigedad's Leng, which was entirely made up by the writers, which I do think is really cool that they've just completely made up a language. And the quote here, it's there on my collarbone. It says, I gon' play no stay old on. Um, which means my fight is not over. Now that for me, <laughs> for anyone who knows me, you'll know about the whole Lexa debacle. There was this whole thing with people who die on the show say, I gone please stay old on, which means my fight is over. And then we kind of were pissed off about the whole Lexa thing. And so we like kind of turned it on its head and made it my fight is not over. And it's just for me, a really like inspirational thing to look at. Like when I got it, I was like in tears in the tattoo shop. It's like really emotional. R.I.P. Lexa, it's almost been like a year and I'm just not, not accepting this. My fifth and final tattoo was one I also got last year. My sister Nats and I took a trip to Amsterdam and it was our first ever holiday away with no parents, just us. It was so good. We got so high. <laughs> it was really great. It was like two days before we were set to leave. Um, I don't really know how we came up with the idea. I'm pretty sure we were just stoned and Nats just went, we should get a tattoo here. And I was like, yeah. But then we did wait until we were sober the next day. And I said, do you still want to go get that tattoo? And she went, yeah. And I was like, cool, why not? So we picked something that kind of just reminds us of the holiday. It's this little compass thing right here. We got this tattoo as, again, a kind of like joint little sibling thing and also to commemorate our first ever holiday away. And um, yeah, that's about it so far. I've only got five, but I have definitely have more planned. I want to get like a big half sleeve thing on this arm. I, when I eventually get top surgery, I want to get like a big chest piece as well, like down here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did enjoy making it. Also, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments or you know, find me on social media. It's all down in the box as well. I'm on Twitter and Tumblr and Snapchat and all that shit. I hope you guys are having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>